Hi, this is Lauren from LSP Actions and welcome to video tutorial number two for the LSP Color Change Palette for Photoshop. If you missed video tutorial number one where I walk through how to install and what's included, you can catch that on the LSP Actions website or on YouTube. In this tutorial, we're going to be diving straight into using these actions. Now, before you start, I'm just going to walk you through the brush settings. You need to have a normal brush, uh, brush tool selected. Doesn't matter too much about your colours here for now because we're going to be using layer masks and that will switch to black and white. Make sure your brush mode is normal, 100% opacity, and I've gone for around 45% flow. Flow helps you carry on brushing over and you can build up the intensity of the effect in one click, which I find really, really useful. You may find you want to make the flow less or more depending on um, your own personal tastes. Make sure you can see the actions. If you can't, you can go up to Window and choose Actions. And make sure you can see your Layers panel. Again, you can come up here to Window and choose Layers and Actions here. You see them here. Now, there are several ways you can use these actions in Photoshop. I'm going to dive straight in with the simple way, which doesn't require a lot of masking. And then after that, I'm going to show you um, a little bit more about how to create custom masks to make colour changing even more accurate and easy. But let's just get started on the very basic first way of colour changing. I'm using this gorgeous image here shot by Anna Brandt. Because this image is an earthy kind of neutral tone, I'm going to use the earthy colour change section here. So let's bring these up to the top. So the first thing to do is to decide which colour you'd like to use. So I've just clicked green earthy and you can see up here in the layers panel it's created a layer earthy green with a black layer mask. If you're new to Photoshop, a layer mask is a little bit like a Lotto scratch card. White means show and black means hide. You can use a white brush to kind of brush areas on so that the effect shows or you can use a black brush to hide them. You can switch between black and white by clicking this little arrow here. You can see it switched between black and white or even easier is to hit X on your keyboard. And you'll see here hitting X, it's changing between black and white. So with a white brush selected, I'm going to just make that a little bit larger and a little bit harder. Your brush hardness really does depend on what kind of area you're brushing onto. If it's an in focus area, you're going to want your brush quite hard. If it's a very soft area, such as the back here, you're going to want your brush soft, but you can just right click and change that. And you can see here, I'm simply just brushing this color on. On your first application of color, don't worry too much about if you go over the skin a little bit because you can then go over with a small kind of harder black brush and you can paint that off the skin. So you can see here I am getting some of this on the skin, but you don't need to worry about that too much. The reason this action changes all of the colours in your image um, to a same consistent uniform tone is to allow for pixel blending. Because if you were to just change one kind of specific smaller colour, you can see there I've just made the brush a bit softer. Um, you can get jagged pixel edges which really don't look very good up close. I'm just going to make this brush smaller now and harder to get into these detail areas. Switch to black by hitting X on the keyboard or clicking the little arrows. And with a small hard black brush, you can see I'm just clicking to remove the colour from any skin, the fingers, the background, anywhere we really don't want that colour change to show. It really is that simple. I'm going to use this to paint on the hat too, because why not? You could use several different colours. You could, for example, do a blue hat or a grey hat and a green or a yellow outfit. And you could even change the background. I'm going to be showing you lots of ways you can do that in this video tutorial. I'm just going over the hat here. Being quite careful not to go on the skin tone. Do take your time with this. Zoom in if you need to. You see this hat's a little bit fluffy, so I'm going to switch to a soft brush. Um, just to kind of add a little bit of that fluff in. And you can see there, that's a really nice colour change. Just realised I missed a bit there. I do recommend using the little eye icon here to turn the layer on or off. Cast your eyes about and you'll be able to see if you've missed any areas. I remember this is the easy kind of basic way of doing it, just painting on. I'm going to show you some selection techniques in a bit using the selection actions included, which is a little bit more advanced, but can actually be really, really helpful. 
Now, once you've made one colour change, you may think to yourself, mm, you want to try something different. So you can turn that one off and let's go for something completely different. How about mustard? Now, you don't have to mask again. Because you've already got your mask here, you can see the black layer mask you've already painted on. You can control or command click this and you'll notice a selection appears around that um, selection on your image that you've already painted. And you can use this to paint on to the new layer. Or even easier, you can hold down Alt click the layer mask and drag it up and this will replace the new layer mask up here. So you can see we've simply dragged and dropped that layer mask and replaced the green with mustard. So there's green, natural, green, mustard. With each section in the bold, the earthy or the white, you have a play all mix and match. And what this is going to do is play all of the colours. So if you're not sure which colour you want to use or you want to mix and match, perhaps a green hat, a yellow outfit and a purple background, <laughs> I don't know, then you can use these um, to play them all. Drag your layer mask around and you can simply just use a black or a white brush to paint them on. So for example, um, for violet here, I've just dragged the layer mask in and we've gone purple. You can also play with the opacity of these layers. If you feel it's a little bit intense, you can slide this up or down. And again, how about teal? Just going to close those ones down. And I feel for this image, teal is rather bold, so I'm just going to slide that down there. And you can see just like that, we've changed the colours. And because the layer mask is here, you can use a black or a white brush to change anything there. So I've just realised a little bit of this is on the cheek. So I'm just going to use a black brush to take that off. Very, very easy. And you can play with all the colours there. How about changing the background now? So how about we want, um, I don't know, a green background. So I'm going to play the earthy green. Make my brush bigger. You can make the brush bigger or smaller either by right clicking or by using the square bracket keys on your keyboard. And I'm just going to paint this in around the background. Not worrying too much about covering the subject because I'm going to use black to mask that off again. Just make sure all the background is covered. I'm going to use a black brush, make it smaller and a little bit harder. Just to start bringing this off the subject. Because I've already made a subject selection here, I can just simply right click that and use it here. Once you've made one selection, you may as well just carry on using that one selection. Um, you've done the hard work of making the selection, you may as well use it. And I'm just going over those fingers there. And we've turned the background green, just like that. And again, we can drag and drop, alt, drag and drop this, uh, this mask onto any other layers to use them. So we have mustard there, we can drag it onto all of them if we wanted to and try them all out. And again if anything is too bright or um, not bold enough you can slide the opacity. So that is how to use the LSP colour palette actions. That's the most basic, simple way you can do them. Click play paint, create your layer mask and you can alt drag the layer mask onto different layers. In the next video tutorial, video tutorial number three, I'm going to show you how to work on white images using the LSP white colour palette selection to change colours on whites because changing whites is a little bit different to changing normal tones. So you can go and check out that next video if you've got white images you would like to change either on the uh, LSP Actions website or on the LSP Actions YouTube channel.